Hello everyone. Imagine an infinite grid. You choose five junctions on this grid. Let's say we take um, this one, this one, this one, uh, that one perhaps, and maybe that one. And then we connect all of these junctions with lines. Yeah, okay, I, yeah, I drew it really poorly. You can uh, see the point because that's all. No, sorry. Wait, and that one also. Yeah, okay. And then we look at these lines, more specifically the midway point of these lines. So in this case, it would be there. In this case, it would be there from on this line and so forth. And then we look, are any of these midpoints on a junction? And in this case, it turns out that, oh, here we can see this one, this midpoint is on a junction. And there should be some more, but I'm not seeing it right now. Anyway, yeah. And it turned out that one of them was on a junction. And the question is, therefore, does this always happen? And the answer is yes. And as a matter of fact, you can never have five points on a grid such that the midpoint of all lines are never on a junction. There will, there will always be a midpoint on one of the lines, which is on junction. And this is what this video will be about and me proving this. So, if you're, if you're like me, uh, this problem seems really daunting at first, but it actually isn't that, isn't that hard. Yeah, we'll, we'll think about it this way, okay. So firstly, we'll describe these points with their coordinates, obviously. And second, we will think about it this way. We'll try to make our way up or like see, See where, see where it doesn't hold anymore, how, how far we can go. So obviously if one point doesn't even make a problem and two, two points is obviously doable, three points is also obviously doable. And four points, well, well yeah, it, it's also uh, always doable considering you can just make a square like this. You can put it in the, the four corners of one of one square and you, and it still suffices so okay it's specifically at five that we get get some trouble and then okay so what do we have okay so we we think about it this way we have four given points which we know don't break the criteria we have four points which the average does not lie, the average of any two does not lie on a junction. So therefore, we can see this as um, four sets of uh, numbers. We can call this, uh, I'll use this kind of notation, x1, y1 is the first point, and then x2, X3 and then X4, Y4. These are our points. Our assumption that the first four fulfill our criteria that none of the, the midpoints of any, any of the connecting lines are on a junction. What that really means is that for any, uh, say, n and m where n is not not equal to m we therefore know that x n plus x m over 2 and um sorry y n plus 
y m over 2 both are as one of them is uh, yeah I'll write like this or is uh, non integer so one one or both are non integer so that's our what our assumption means so then let's look at our cases okay so we have something plus something divided by 2 is supposed to be an integer or not then we can look at the evenness or or oddity of all of these numbers so we know that if say we compare 1 and 2 per se then if 1 and 2 have the same have say the same oddity and evenness in x and x and y meaning that both are odd both x's are odd per se both x's are odd and both y's are even or any other way around just that they're the same then we would get an integer in both places meaning that the intersection would be on a junction right so if so therefore at least one has to be different so from if just not really regarding what what the first pair actually is we just know that the second pair has to be one different from the other at least one different from the other and then the third one has to be different from both of them both of the previous two because they also get everyone gets compared to everyone when we draw lines from every single point to every other po possible point so therefore two of these four points cannot have the same uh, ex the, the same uh, evenness in both coordinates because okay if say okay uh, if our x1 and y1 are both even then even even if anything else was even even then it would obviously yield two integers so that's not possible but uh, odd and even that works perfectly fine and here i just do this to show that all of the combinations also yield non at least one non integer so even and so this first case here would yield a non integer x coordinate but an integer y coordinate and this case here would yield an integer x coordinate but non integer y coordinate and both even coordinates for the second point would yield non integer x and y coordinates and this is basically the explanation why we can only have four because when we add when we add a point here we have to choose whether we want want it to be on one of these forms and we know therefore that when then compared to the other one who has the same form it will then have integer coordinates with the in the in the mid midpoint of the connecting line so uh, yeah that was uh, basically the the explanation not really a conclusive proof proof but if you've seen my videos you know i never do a real proof i just try to explain it that's my kind of that's my point with my videos so yeah so i can just i can just quick quick recap because i understand if that was uh, very w vague we know that this is what determines the midpoint 
and we want one of them to be a non-integer if the mid uh, midpoint on the, the line segment is not on a junction and therefore because this is something plus something over two we can just split this up into modulus two or if the coordinates are divisible by two or not so therefore and because every point contains two point sorry, two integers then we know that we can only have four cases we can have even even odd even even odd or odd odd and we also know that when um, comparing or when calculating the the midway point with a number or sorry with a type sorry with, with a coordinate that has the same evenness in its coordinates then it will yield uh, well then then both uh, the, both coordinates for the midway point will be integers and therefore will be on the junction yeah sorry i'm a bit confused today but uh, i hope you understood anyway uh, yeah that was basically everything for me hope you enjoyed the video have a good one Bye bye